Over the weekend, popular retailer Kohl's unexpectedly listed the PlayStation 5 consoles for sale and after an explosion of reorders decides to have a cancellation fest. Also, president of Sony Interactive Entertainment Jim Ryan hints at an Xbox Game Pass competitor for the PlayStation 5 and a PS5 firmware update will add VRR support in the future. All this and much, much more in today's edition of the saltiest PlayStation 5 news report. Let's get into it. What's up, Salt Nation? Welcome back to another PlayStation News Report. If it's your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can stay up to date with all things PlayStation and PlayStation 5. What's up, PlayStation Nation? Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I had an awesome weekend full of gaming, and I finally unboxed my chair from Ewen Racing, and I'm loving it. I'll be dropping a review on the channel, so stay tuned for that. Also, I'm close to platinuming Spider-Man Miles Morales. That game is phenomenal. If you guys are working on a platinum on the PlayStation 5 and you're close to getting that, let me know in the comment section. Speaking of Spider-Man and Mr. Webhead, it's been announced by Insomniac on social media as promised. They are releasing a patch for Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered that will allow you to transfer your progress over from the PlayStation 4 to the PlayStation 5. And guess what? If you platinum the game on the PlayStation 4, all the trophies will pop for the PlayStation 5 version. I've seen a lot of people already tweet out their platinums for this game. All you got to do is load up Marvel's Spider-Man PlayStation 4, go to the save selection screen, upload your files to the cloud, then load up Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered, download your progress from the save selection screen and you'll be good to go you get all those trophies like i was teasing in the intro we have lots of fantastic playstation 5 news to get into today one of the main stories is the playstation 5 cole's cancellation news that happened over the weekend i want to give a shout out to my buddy t-rock we play lots of games together we actually played and co-opt bloodborne he helped me get the platinum there over the weekend we were playing online and he talked about how there was availability on cole's he went to go pre-order i think i was playing spider-man miles Morales at the time and he's been working to get a PlayStation 5 for a long time he's unfortunately been unsuccessful did not acquire one at launch so he's been on the search Coles comes out with a bundle I think had a controller and Spider-Man Miles Morales and he tried to get that originally and it didn't go through and then all of a sudden he got an email saying that the order number and all this other stuff and it's kind of weird and lo and behold it was too good to be true lots of people online now in retrospect are saying that they did the same thing pre-orders were available at Coles for this bundle they had order numbers given them through emails and then lo and behold a couple days later Coles is coming out and wrecking people's dreams pulling the rugs out from under their feet and telling them that nah not so fast you're not getting your pre-order which is extremely unfortunate apparently according to multiple reports thousands of people purchased the bundle from the store but now these pre-orders are being canceled I have emails that I'm gonna put up on the screen that show the email from Coles apologizing it has the order number it says the order has been canceled. It says, sorry, your order has been canceled because your item or items are no longer available. Details shown below. Long story short, they put these up for pre-order and they weren't expecting, I guess, an explosion of pre-orders. They sold more than they had, so they had to cancel a majority of them. There is some good news, I guess, if you want to put it this way. If you did pre-order through Kohl's, you do get to keep their Kohl's cash. It's a pretty significant chunk, I guess, for every certain amount of money you spend in the store. You get this stuff called Kohl's Cash, which you can use basically as cash in the store. It has an expiration date. So not all is lost there. You could still buy something there, maybe a game with the money that you got. As far as future supply goes, I know that GameStop is going to have limited supply on Black Friday and other retailers are opening up supply a couple days here, a couple days there. I know a lot of people that haven't got their PlayStations actually came out on social media, a couple friends of mine, and they said that they were able to get their pre-orders in at places like Best Buy. So you just got to keep posted on social media. I'll try to do what I can and retweet and tweet and message people when pre-orders come available because I want everybody to get a PlayStation 5 that wants one. As far as future stock is concerned or current stock, Jim Ryan was speaking with Russian outlet TASS and he said absolutely everything is sold. So while there's a little trickle here and there of PlayStation 5 stock returning to retail channels this week, it's gone in minutes. People are fighting bots. There are some retailers that are implementing some 
safeguards, some anti-bot measures. I think Best Buy is one of them. You have to like get an email and then reply back. So hopefully more of those implement that. But as far as stock goes, everything sold out. Jim Ryan had this to say about the situation. He said, I've spent much of the last year trying to make sure that we can generate enough demand for the product. And now in terms of my executive bandwidth, I'm spending a lot more time on trying to increase supply to meet the demand. We're still waiting on initial sales figures from Sony, which is weird because traditionally with Sony, if their sales numbers are good, they will get those out pretty quick, but it looks like the company sold every single console it could manufacture. So there's not a worry there with the sales figures, but let me know if you were able to secure a PlayStation 5 this weekend. Did you pre-order from Kohl's? Did you get it canceled? Let's talk about it in the comment section. Speaking of Jim Ryan, in that same interview with Tass, he had some interesting things to say when it came to Xbox Game Pass and whether Sony was planning on something equivalent to compete with Xbox Game Pass. He said this, there is actually news to come, but just not today. We have PlayStation Now, which is our subscription service, and that is available in a number of markets. I wasn't really expecting PlayStation to compete with Xbox Game Pass. They do have PlayStation Now. They have PlayStation Plus, which is fantastic. I just kind of thought that they were going to keep that model going forward into the PlayStation 5 generation. But by his response, it's clear that they have something in the works to compete with Xbox Game Pass. Maybe they combine PlayStation Now with PlayStation Plus, kind of an Xbox Game Pass ultimate model where you combine those two services, you get the free games. They do have the PlayStation Plus collection already, which is in there if you do have PlayStation Plus. So maybe that's in preparation of all that. There is rumors that there's some kind of announcement with an extension of backwards compatibility with the PlayStation Now service. So clearly there's something in the works and it's pretty exciting to be honest. I've mentioned this multiple times that I'm hard on Xbox because I want them to do better because I know it's good for the gaming industry. They do have some things that they do well, some things that they don't do well as, as well as Sony, right? Everybody has things they can work on. The good thing about competition is it raises the bar. Now, if your company's not doing something and then the other company is, maybe that company that you prefer will up their game per se, and it will be good for all consumers. So if Sony comes out, com makes a combination of PS Plus and PlayStation Now, and, and it's awesome, I mean, that's good for PlayStation gamers, and I think it's good for competition, but we shall see. What would you guys like to see for this subscription service, this announcement that's a competition to Xbox Game Pass? What do you think is going to happen? Let's talk about it in the comment section. In other news, it looks like Sony is planning to release an update, a future PlayStation 5 firmware update that will add VRR to the system. In the official PlayStation blog, Sony stated that the PlayStation 5 hardware supports VRR through HDMI 2.1, which is the latest technology. They said this after a future system software update, PlayStation 5 owners will be able to use the VRR feature of compatible TVs when playing games that support VRR. The language is somewhat concerning because if you read into it, it means that specific games, not all of them will support VRR. As usual, you kind of have to wait until these things are put out there officially to see what will happen. A lot of people lowered their expectations with backwards compatibility because they talked about 100 games, remember that? And then it ended up being like 4,000. So we got to wait for more information before we jump the gun here, you know? For those of you that aren't familiar, VRR stands for variable refresh rate. And simply put, it allows TVs to adjust its refresh rate in real time to the frame rate output by games on console or PC kind of tries to limit or eliminate screen tearing and stutters. It's a cool feature. You do have to have HDMI 2.1. So TVs that will be compatible with that. The new TVs out there are HDMI 2.1 have 120 Hertz 4k resolution up to 8k. It depends on how much money you want to spend. So that is the new technology. Personally, I don't have a television that supports 2.1. My TV is at 60 Hertz. We actually had this conversation with a couple of friends of mine that there's not enough games out there that warrant me upgrading to 120 hertz panel. There are some titles out there that can hit that mark, but in general, I'm happy with what I have with the 60 hertz. I have 4K and, and all that, but you know, if the game library expands and there's a lot more titles out there that are 120 frames per second and it warrants that upgrade, I might jump in, man, especially with updates with VRR and all that other stuff. But let me know what you guys think. VRR implementation, you guys excited for it? Do you have a TV that can support it or do you still have that old TV like myself, 60 hertz? hertz 4k let's talk about it but that's it for today's edition of the saltiest playstation news report i hope you guys enjoyed it I enjoyed making it if you guys are new make sure to subscribe hit the bell icon for future notifications we're almost at 12,000 subscribers so i want to personally thank all you guys that support the channel you guys are amazing i hope you guys have a great day remember play games not flops and as always stay salty my friends